I'm gonna retire at 36 with enough ongoing passive income to support myself, my family, and the people that I love for the rest of my life. I'm gonna work my ass off to do this so that I can be free to do the things that I wanna do and share those things with the world. And this is how I'm gonna do it. Since I quit my office job as an engineer three years ago now, I started working for myself. I became an entrepreneur, started a multiple seven figure Amazon FBA business, um, became a millionaire, and now I'm looking ahead to the next five years. And this is my ultimate goal, to retire early at the age of 36 with complete financial independence. I know retiring early and having financial independence means different things to different people, so this is what it means to me. It means to have the time to be able to do the things that I wanna do. It means to have the freedom and the space and the ability to go and pursue the projects or the hobbies that I want to do, um, to share that time with people and enjoy life, and to do all of that knowing that whatever happens, I have enough money, I'm gonna be okay, I'm gonna be healthy, I can raise a family, I have a nice place to live, and I never have to be desperate with money. So this is the three-step model of how I'm doing this now and how I'm going to be able to retire at the age of 36 with complete financial independence. So I'm gonna explain this, I hope this video is useful to you. I'm gonna start with number one, which is to generate massive income with a business. If you want to be able to retire at a young age or only a few years into the future and you still want to have those nice things, you don't want to just have retirement by sacrificing everything, having a business and earning income from a business is the only way to start this process. It's simply really unlikely that you'll be able to get to financial independence, true financial independence, without just cutting away all of the things that make your life worth living. So I am speaking from experience here. I've been able to go in less than three years to becoming a millionaire very, very quickly by starting a business and then starting another business. So I'm gonna double down on this and here are the five things, uh, the five main concepts and takeaways that I'm doing to generate massive income using a business. Firstly, focus on the right skills. I'm gonna categorize this into two different groups, hard skills and soft skills. When I say hard skills, if you're an IT guy, if you're a programmer, if you're an engineer like I am or a finance guy or an analyst, anything like that, chances are you're really good with the hard skills. And that means being able to open spreadsheets and, and play with them and, and generate calculations. If you're looking at this from a business perspective, you need to know that profit equals revenue minus expenses. Not only that, you need to be able to dig down into each of those buckets, profit, revenue, and expenses, and work out where can you actually make profit by maximizing revenues and minimizing expenses, that sort of thing. If you have that hard skill background, you can use Excel, you can do calculations, um, then that is 50%, not, not the whole thing, but it's 50% of being able to start a successful business. And actually the second part, soft skills, I would almost say is more valuable than the hard skills. Now, the soft skills, what I mean by that are the human skills. This is persuasion. This is understanding psychology and how people work. It's understanding what really drives people to do the things that they do. And the answer is it's emotions, by the way. So it means understanding emotions. It means empathy. And as soon as you can understand empathy and psychology and emotions, then you can start to learn really high value soft skills. For example, copywriting. Copywriting is the art of rearranging words to sell things to people. You can be the biggest maths whiz and Excel guru and be able to calculate all your margins and everything like that. But if at the end of the day, you can't convert those things into persuasive words and get people motivated, get people wanting to buy whatever it is that you're selling, you won't have success with business. And in fact, when you can combine those two things, the technical, analytical, hard skill side with the emotional, um, persuasive, psychological, soft skill side, combine those two things together, you will be able to build a successful business. The second thing is to find a way to solve problems for real people. And that means to build a product or a service that takes away pain or removes fear or it helps people live their lives better. This is a massive shift. If you currently have a job, currently you're focused on doing your job and getting paid for it. But as an entrepreneur, if you wanna build a business and again, make massive income in a really short period of time, you need to focus on helping people first. Where does a problem exist? Where is something not right that you can go in and make that improvement and make that person's life better? If you can make their life better, they're gonna buy something from you. The way that I do this on Amazon is just find products that are already selling well, but have problems. Go into the listings, go read the reviews from customers, read the one, two, three, and four star reviews, see what is wrong with that product, see what's making people unhappy, and go and fix that problem. Just solve problems for real people and you will get paid for your results. Number three, focus on high income pain points. And that means that you are solving the worst problems, the ones that people are most acutely aware of having already and they just are waiting for them to be solved. So I'd group this into three different categories and that's health, wealth, and relationships. If you are looking to provide a solution to somebody's problems, start with one of those three areas. Whether it is health, whether it is people wanting to look good and feel good about themselves, or whether it's actually people being sick and wanting to feel better. Either way, people feel a lot of pain around health. The second category is wealth, and that's exactly what I'm doing now. It's teaching you how to make money, how to think differently about money and how to make more of it, how to quit your job, how to start a business, or if it's investing, it's real estate maybe, or it's stocks, 
Wealth is another category where there is just a lot of money to be made. Third one is relationships, because at the end of the day, everyone just wants to have good relationships with the people around them. So if you can facilitate that, if you can educate people, maybe it's dating advice, uh, maybe it's relationship coaching, things like that, people will pay a lot of money for that. I'm not saying that you can't make money by solving problems in a different area. For example, teaching people how to dance, teaching people how to be um, better musicians or photographers, you definitely can, but there are less people out there feeling that problem as a burning pain. And so therefore there's less money for you to earn. Number four, leverage the internet. This is the single greatest opportunity that was never available to anybody else in mankind 10 or 20 years ago. What we have now are existing platforms built on top of the internet. Um, and we don't have to be geniuses. You don't have to be particularly smart. I don't have to be very smart. We just need to stand on top of the shoulders of the geniuses who've built these platforms. Now, what I mean is Facebook, I mean YouTube, which I'm reaching you through YouTube right now. Amazon is another platform. Shopify is a platform, Instagram. All of these networks allow you or I to either with a product or a service or a message or a, a voice or an opinion to get that out there to the world for zero dollar startup cost, it's free to get on all of them. And you can reach thousands or millions of customers by doing that. And any business is applicable to this because even if it's not a scalable online business, if it's not Amazon FBA or it's not you know selling online courses, even if it's a physical bricks and mortar business, you can use Facebook ads, you can use Google ads to scale the reach of that business globally. And it's leveraging the internet in this way that is the key thing that enables us to stop just trading our time for money. And that's what I've been able to do over the last three years is create businesses using these platforms, Amazon FBA first and mainly, and then secondly, also YouTube through this channel that doesn't rely on my continual input to earn money. I'm no longer getting paid based on how much time I put in, I'm getting paid based on my results. And number five, do the scary thing. I've learned in the last couple of years going from you know working a secure job, a stable job to having nothing and then having to build myself up from nothing to where I am today, that every time I had a choice between the thing that wasn't so scary and something that terrified me, every time I took the terrifying choice, I won. I got, I made more money or I learned valuable new skills that would also make me more money. I had better experiences. I learned and became a better person as a result of it or I built a business as a result of it. And every time I took the easy choice, the, the non-scary choice, I got nowhere. So I know that going forwards, if I'm building a business to generate this massive income as the first step to being able to retire early, and whenever I have a choice between something that's not scary and something that is, I will always take the scary choice. So those are the five key lessons to be able to generate a massive income by building a business. And there is no limit to the scale of doing this. You can start a successful business in three months, in six months, in maximum a year. And in a year or a few years, you can have a two times, five times, or 10 times multiple of your old salary. And suddenly when you're thinking in terms of these multiples and your income has gone up so much, the problem of how to retire early and how to be financially independent, it does get compressed from 30 years into the future into five years or less. So that sounds really great and it is, trust me, I know I've been there, but it's only the first part of the process. The second part is to convert that massive income into passive income. And the way that we need to do this is by converting that massive but risky business income into real passive investment income. Because here's the honest truth, you can't rely on a business to keep paying you a retirement income. It just, the time frame is too long and the very strength and the advantages of those internet enabled businesses that I mentioned, whether it's Amazon, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Facebook ads or Shopify, the very fact that they are so scalable and so easy to get into also means that things are changing so quickly and you cannot rely on them to be making you income two years, five years, 10 years into the future. I know that I wouldn't plan my retirement around them and I'm not doing so. And I've seen this enough times where it may be running on autopilot, but you do need to go back every now and then and step in and fix things and keep it running so that it's still generating you that income. It's just not something you can rely on for that future retirement. And so what you need to do is bank that income, that business income that's coming in that's you know massively greater than what you were previously earning. Take that income and then convert it into investment income. And that is just gonna be stocks, bonds, real estate, and a couple of other investment vehicles. It's those asset classes that's gonna generate you that stable, real passive income where you literally don't have to lift a finger to, to earn it. And you can look at starting the second stage after one or two years. Once you have the business up and running and you're solving problems for people in a scalable, automated way, and it's generating you that large business income, then you can look at that later down the track about converting that into these passive investments. This is what I'm looking at now, and there are three main things that I'm considering as I'm doing this. Firstly, you actually need a lot of money, a lot of money invested to achieve a real passive income because it's lower risk. You don't have to do all of that, that problem solving, all of that thinking, all of the work that you have to put into building a business. There's nothing in involved with that with investments. And so therefore you earn less money. So you need a lot saved up to be able to do it. Secondly, you wanna diversify because here you're just trying to maintain what you've got and trying to earn an income from that. 
you don't want to put into really risky assets like crypto, or if you do, assume that that's going to be lost and that's not your nest egg. That's not the thing generating you that passive retirement income. And you always want to have a certain percentage in cash or in other stable assets as security to protect yourself from that. So that's the second part of the process. The third part of the process is knowing when enough is enough. Generating business income, it's a slippery slope. I've experienced it plenty of times and I've seen other people fall for it as well. As you grow that business income and you start converting it into these passive incomes and, you, and the dollars are just getting bigger and bigger, they're just piling up, it's really easy to move those goalposts further and further apart because suddenly you're not shooting for the original goal, you're suddenly shooting for the next one and the next one and the next one. So I try and control that by keeping myself aware of what is actually important. Now, I know from enough reflection that, you know, a fancy car, a Ferrari or something, that's never gonna be important to me. Having a huge house by the beach in Sydney where I'm from, that would be nice, but it's so expensive and I know I can get the same quality of life for much, much less, um, whether in Sydney or in another city around the world. I don't ever need to spend the millions of dollars that it takes to get that, which means I don't need to earn the millions of dollars that it takes to have that. What is important to me is not feeling the sting in your pocket when you go to pay for somebody or you go to buy somebody a nice gift, or if you want to go out and go on a trip with friends, you don't have to worry about the costs. That is super important to me. And the last part of knowing when enough is enough is just recognize that it's all about doing something that fulfills you. It's about doing something important to you. And if you are working or doing something that's that's actually has meaning to you, then you're already there. That's what happiness is. You might not find that by working more and more, but you also might not find that by retiring early either. So remember to look for that. And when you have it, know that enough is enough. So that's how I'm gonna retire at 36. And this is the three-step method that I'm using to retire early with financial independence. If you liked the video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me in the comments down below. I would love to, to know your thoughts as well. If you know somebody who would get value out of hearing this as well, then share the video with them. Make sure to subscribe if you want more content like this coming out on a weekly basis from me. And if you want to learn how I got to where I am today, then do check out my Amazon FBA training. That's the first link in the description down below. Again, that's my main business and my main source of income right now today. And if you wanna see my income report for the previous year, I'm breaking down all my income sources, how I earned the money that I earned, where I earned it, what it cost me, and exactly what I'm doing, then click this video right here, this link, click it. Um, and that will show you all that stuff. I break it all down transparently on this channel for you guys. So go there if you wanna watch that and I'll see you in the next video. You didn't click it yet. Click, click that video. All right, I'm done.